Onda Raza, welcome to another video. Uh, today, or lately, I've been working on my truck, getting it ready to get painted. I haven't been posting a lot of stuff on about it or gone fishing or anything, so. I've been slowly going and helping the guy who's painting my truck. I've uh, been sanding it, putting, you know, bondo, whatever, like, you know, fi fixing the little dents and dings and stuff. And uh, I'll be posting a few clips. I have a... Of us working on the truck yeah it's been crazy like I never thought that I'd be working like to get it painted and stuff so a while back I did like a $13 paint job on my truck with spray paint and shit so it's a fucking bitch to take it off like we're literally well most of the parts besides the parts that have Bondo we were using the air sander but uh, we sanded the whole truck by hand and it was a bitch to take off spray paint. So I, I don't recommend if you have plans and painting your truck, your truck correctly, I, I recommend you not putting any spray paint on it because it's a motherfucker to take it off. It's like crazy fucking hard. But yeah, uh, it, hopefully, you know, I picked a badass color. You know, so it should be looking pretty dope. Today I went and uh, my buddy was uh, sanding down the bundles. And I started sanding by hand the uh, claddings and stuff. So that way I can, you know, since we're going, you know, full SS clone. Um, been sanding the claddings because I also painted them with spray paint. And they motherfucker sand. So, and the bed that I, the bed that I got. Uh, I didn't realize this, you know, when I went to the junkyard to buy it, you know, I, I couldn't fit in between all the vehicles that were there. So I told my cousin, hey, you think you can check it out, see if it's in good condition? And he walked around it and it looked all right, but uh, we didn't realize that it had already been painted and, you know, people had just put Bondo and like, like little dings or dents that it had, you know, like instead of you know, pushing out the dings or dents, they like fucking filled that motherfucker with Bondo like up the ass. So you, I'm fucking have to go sand all that shit down. Like, well, I've been sanding it down, you know, popping out all the dents and dings. And uh, that way we can use the least amount of Bondo on the truck. And then they had like, you know, they didn't, I guess they didn't have no fucking whoever owned it. They didn't like put bed liner on it and shit like on the top part of the bed like on the sides they fucking put tar so and they put a thick ass fucking coat of it so i had to send all that shit down and i fucking got i got home fucking dirty as a motherfucker i also finally uh we finally got uh the grill insert for the ss bumper and i also ordered the intimidator ss wing and here shortly, I'm going to be ordering the rear bumper uh, cover. And I also need to, you know, go to the junkyard and find me the metal bumper. The one that goes, you know, the one that holds the bumper cover. So uh, that way I can, I'm trying to make it as complete as I can, you know. Oh yeah, I had to get off the car real quick. So uh, as I was saying, uh, I picked a badass color for my truck. Hopefully it looks, uh, looks badass. I picked like a burgundy color, you know, like off the new vehicles. It's not a Chevy color, but uh, it should look badass. Uh, the color I picked, well, I didn't, like, I only saw a vehicle, right? I was coming out of the hospital because I got sick. In December, I got sick, and I was hospitalized. And on my way out, I saw this badass color, you know, and... Uh, I was like, I want that color. So I took a picture of the make and model of the vehicle. And then I, I sent it. I sent it and they, they sent me the code. And then I, I went and bought the paint. So, so it, it looks badass. Hopefully real soon it starts coming out in the videos again. And, you know, be able to go out in it and shit. You know, cruise it. You know, I had to, I had to, I get, I got rid of the pro charger or the supercharger. You know, I did the fuel system and stuff, you know. And I guess I wasn't ready to go, you know. I already have a built 4060, 
but they told me with the amount of boost I was gonna be pushing, I should have been around, you know, close to the 800 wheel horsepower and uh, the 460 wasn't gonna do. So I was like, nah, was, you know, I I wasn't ready to dump another, you know, three or $4,000, you know, in converter transmission. And, and, and then I was like, well, if I'm gonna stay with the 460, you know, you know the whole point of getting it done was to fuck around with it you know and go fast and if i wasn't going to be able to do that anytime soon like you know like keep the pro, the supercharger and then stay 4060 but not dog on it was you know it defeats the purpose of actually putting it on so i was like fuck it so i sold that and i started doing you know i started doing the faint job on it so I really didn't think it was going to be anytime soon. That's the reason I went and spray painted the fuck out of it. But it, it, thank God it's happening a lot sooner you know, than I thought. Pura adrenalina fija Y son puros chavalones Que los rezos de su madre Dicen que los va a cuidar Una Cheyenne O tal vez unas coyotonas Que por ahí se oyen bramar Entre los 20 Son de los gustos que se han dado Porque saben trabajar Los riesgos vienen porque así es la cosa en la vida cuando se quiere triunfar Dinero no había antes Pero la visión es grande y las metas importantes supe tuve que accionar Con Dios siempre por delante en las metas o los sales y de él no de olvidarme porque me ayuda a avanzar. Siempre me mira, es que soy muy solicitado por el trabajo que hay. Me he distinguido porque las trocas que yo cargo no cualquiera las trae. Y aquí seguimos. Marcándole la diferencia porque hacemos calidad.